So Ava, do you know water can exist in three different stages? Yes, it's very interesting. Yes, it's liquid, solid, and gas. Solid form of liquid, which is ice. Ooh, my hands, they're shivering. And the gas form of water is water vapor. This is the liquid form. And okay, so first we're going to do an experiment. Boiling water, can you see the steam? That's the water vapor. So now we're going to, for this experiment, we're going to quickly close it with this uh, plate. And now, and now we're going to actually put some ice in it. Y you'll see why in a moment. Okay, I have ice right here. Dig in. That's not enough ice gods to fight the fire demons. Yeah. We, we need more ice gods. Like yeah. now. Now. And it's kind of fun. The ice gods quickly went to the battle scene. Can you see the water droplets forming? Mm, on um, on the bottom of the plate, right there. See, and so so when the wa water vapor from the boiling water actually goes up and it meets the and it meets the plate with the cold ice on it, it gets cooled down and the water vapor changes back to a liquid and and like that's why mm -hmm. those droplets over there and and when the droplets get big enough, they fall down like rain. into the atmosphere is like really cold there so to simulate the coldness that's why we're using all these ice blocks the plate so you can see the water droplets forming below it just gonna lift it and what is about it's about ready to fall So we made this model to show you how rain is formed. A real world example of this is like in in all the oceans and rivers and lakes, when the sunlight reaches them and the temperatures rise, it's to form water vapor and that process is called evaporation. When we when we boil water in the stuff, it, um, it forms water vapor. This is called evaporation, changing of water from liquid to gas. And then when the water rises higher into the sky, it, it gets colder and, and starts to form into liquid. And, and that process is called condensation. And then when it actually falls down as rain or snow or hail or sleet, that process is called precipitation. And after it falls down, um, it evaporates again and the cycle begins all over again. And for this, we need some like water and some shaving cream and um, some food coloring. So today we're gonna use red, but you know you can use any color. But first, we're actually gonna open it and pour some into water. But um, maybe you should ask an adult, you know. Wait, not a what shaving? Just make wool. Wool. This is water, but now we have some clubs. We're gonna put some more food in here. You have to do this quickly. Oh, I mean, I guess it is kind of raining, right? Uh huh, because it's water. Cool, right? I think it's kind of like it's only raining in one place. I mean, making our second drain model, um, cause our first one didn't really go out so good. So yeah, so we're trying again this time. Um, this time we're filling all the edges, like like in the last one we didn't really do that. So yeah, this time we're filling all the edges. You can also see we made sprinkles. Yeah. So um, um, if you get it wrong, don't waste or throw it in the trash. Just wait. Wait what? Whoa. Whoa. 
and look what and you can you don't need to throw in your in the trash you can just rub it in your hand to protect their gloves brain gloves yeah, you don't need to waste stuff you can Thank you.